Aside from the scarcity of actual hardware, the biggest negative going into this new generation of gaming with the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S has been the fact some publishers have raised the pricing of their games. For a long time now, the standard AAA pricing structure has been $60 for a game, but some first-party PlayStation games such as Demon's Souls are starting out at $70 and third parties like 2K have done this too with NBA 2K21 on next-gen consoles. And let's face it, life is hard now more than ever and upping the price of games is a difficult one to get across to people in a good way, despite the fact the standard recommended retail price has been the same for a couple of generations now. But it seems Microsoft hasn't actually decided on whether they'll follow this price hike or not. Speaking at the Jefferies Interactive Entertainment Conference recently, Microsoft Chief Financial Officer Tim Stewart suggested that the Xbox brand will make an announcement about pricing in due time. As mentioned, games haven't gone up in price for quite some time, and Stuart mentioned this. He said, content creation costs go up. These publishers and content creators, including ourselves, want to make sure you're driving the right gross margin profiles, the right earnings profiles of what it takes to build these new, awesome, amazing games. You want to make sure you have a good top line to support that. And that's true, of course, games are insanely high budget affairs now with production quality you'd previously only see in the most expensive CGI movies. Stewart accepts that rising development costs is a challenge Xbox has to face, but that the company will make the right decision for their content. Speaking on the price rise, he said, they're driving revenue growth as well and they're looking for opportunities to go create more monetization for the support of that content creation. And that's when you see a little bit of the game pricing going up. So your example is $60 going to $70 on some games. It's tough to know how this will work for Microsoft if they go down this route, because so many have argued that Xbox Game Pass is amazing value for money, so perhaps that could get a price increase instead. Only they know the figures for how many people buy their games versus downloading them via Game Pass subscription, obviously, and time will tell on this one. But for more on Xbox and all things in gaming, head to enemy.com. <laughs> <laughs>